What's good? My name is Aaron Swiss. I'm here with Flowmaster. Bang Biker! Woo! Yeah. Today we're talking about boxing gloves. So, whether you're a beginner or an advanced fighter, the options can be overwhelming. There's so many gloves on the market, so let's break it down for you. Number one. The fitness glove, baby. The fitness training glove. Okay, so there's a huge array of different types of fitness and training gloves, right? You can get $30 gloves all the way up to $200 gloves. These are the Fight Camp gloves. These are really quality, not to push our own product, but they really are a great glove for around 150 bucks. On the other hand, if you get a pair of gloves for around 20, 30, 40 bucks, you get what you pay for. And I wanna tell you why. When you put these gloves on, your knuckles don't land in the right spot. So when you hit something, a lot of times you're hitting with the bottom knuckles and it feels awkward. You have to land with the top two knuckles. So the way the glove is molded will make a big difference in how your punches land. All right, the second one is, yeah, get those out of here. Competition gloves, all right. So here, we've got a great pair of gloves. These are called Claydol Reyes. These are expensive. They're probably about 200 bucks. But again, you get what you pay for. The leather is great, the cushion's amazing, your knuckles land perfectly, and these are 10 ounce gloves. You also get them in eight ounce gloves because when you fight, this is what you fight in. So you have to learn how to train them too because they're lighter, so the timing's different and it's gonna feel different. The con is they're lace-ups. You better have somebody to lace you up, otherwise you can get eight or 10 ounce gloves that are Velcro too if you wanna train in fighting gloves on your own. What do we got next? This is mine, MMA gloves. Now, MMA gloves is different than boxing gloves. Cause why? Cause the MMA gloves, your fingers are open. Why is your fingers open? Because when you do MMA, you got grappling, you got wrestling, you got submissions. You can't do that with boxing gloves. And another thing that you can't do in boxing gloves that you do MMA, get in your boxing stance. So if I'm sitting here and I'm trying, he's blocking, he's blocking, all right? But I do MMA gloves. Woo! Get them every time. So if you're gonna train MMA, make sure you train sometimes with MMA gloves because the size are different. These are four ounces. And make sure you pick the right partner to train with because you can really hurt somebody. You, you see this? It's a friend named J-Ball. He done this to me wearing MMA gloves. He went hard, he tried to take my head off, but. Next one is kickboxing in Muay Thai gloves. So I got a couple options here. These are twins, this is a great glove. Also, I love Fairtex. They're both around 100, 120 bucks. The difference is, is you get more cushion on your palm. And you also get some more cushion on the side of the gloves because in Muay Thai, you're blocking kicks. So you need more cushion to absorb the kick on the palm. And also you might catch some elbows or knees. So you just need more cushion all around. All right, next. Barring gloves. Woo! All right, so check it. These are winnings, the best glove on the market. To him, but to me, no, they're not. I don't know why you don't like winnings, but to me, these come broken in. I mean, day one, you can open your hand, they feel so good. The leather is amazing, the cushion's amazing, but they're about $400. Again, these are from Japan, the best glove on the market in my opinion. If you want another option, tell them about Everlast. Everlast, now Everlast is very, very stiff and they don't last that long. I'm not trying to down that product, but I had a lot of Everlast gloves and when you put them on, they're so stiff, no matter how long you wear them, they're just so stiff and they start peeling and the lever starts to peel and it's just not a really good glove to me. These are about $100 here and if you notice, these are lace-ups, but I think he has an attachment here. So you, they're lace-ups, but you can also flip it around and do it on your own. So that's kind of cool. What are these attachment calls? Lace and loops, lace, lace and loops. loops. And you can do the lace and loops on any um, gloves that you can um, lace up. It's not just from Everlast. Next, we've got bag gloves. Bag gloves. All right, so these are old school Boone gloves. It's a, a Muay Thai brand. Bag gloves, these are super small. They're probably like five ounces. And the point is, when you're ripping the bag, you're gonna calcify your knuckles, you're gonna strengthen your hand, you're gonna strengthen your wrist in these bad boys. You see a lot of old school fighters wearing these when they hit the bag. Like but. Sugar Ray Leonard. Tommy Hitman Hearns, and Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. And we're gonna talk about kids' gloves. Now, kids' gloves. Now, this is really important. You want to try to stay 10 ounces to eight. When you go over anything that's 10, when a kid is just still developing his muscles, you don't wanna put extra pounds on him. So you wanna stay away from the 14 and the 16 because they still developing their muscles. So that's why normally kids always train with 10 ounces. But when they get to 14 to 15, then that's when you wanna start going to the 14 and the 16s. We also have these Fight Camp Kids gloves. These are six ounces. So if the kid's a little bit younger, like five to eight to nine years old, this is a good, yeah, that's the move. Yes. So that's it, those are all of our gloves. But wait a minute, 
we didn't talk about the ounces. What is eight ounces made for? All right, quick, quick breakdown. Eight ounces is a fight glove. What about 10 ounces? 10 ounces, also a fight glove. What about 14 ounces? Training glove, fitness glove. What about 16? Sparring. What about 18? Sparring, if you're really trying to be safe and not hurt your partner, or conditioning because it's good for your shoulders. The heavier the glove, the harder it is on your shoulders, so you're gonna build the punch muscles. And sometimes I wear 24s, because they do make 24 ounces pair of gloves, and I wear that just for conditioning. But when I'm fighting somebody who's better than me, I gotta put on them 10 ounces, baby, because I gotta be moving, I gotta be moving, I gotta be moving, I gotta be moving. Like when you fight me? Uh, no, not at all. Anyway, so that's it. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below which glove is your favorite and why. And as always, check out Fight Camp, like and subscribe for more boxing and kickboxing content. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.